Hello students, this is Vidal teacher. Today we will learn a new topic in English Balbhati for standard 3. Lesson number 18, look before you leap. In this lesson we will learn a story of two frogs in search of water. Moral of the story and difficult words and their meanings. Look before you leap is a proverb. It is a phrase that tells us that it is always better to look before you leap or else there can be a danger of falling into a ditch. It also means that to act without prior thinking will lead us into endless trouble. Now let us read and understand the lesson. Long, long ago, there lived two little frogs in a pretty little pond. Colorful water lilies grew in the pond. Fishes darted about and tiny insects buzzed around. Darted means moved quickly and suddenly. Buzzed means making a low continuous humming sound. The pond was full of life. The two frogs were very close friends. They had plenty to eat in the pond. All the day long, they played about jumping from lily pad to lily pad and diving headlong in the pond. Lily pad means one of the floating leaves of a water lily and diving headlong means diving into water with the head going into water first and then the rest of the body. They were the happiest little frogs in the world. The frogs loved the rainy season. But the rainy season does not last forever. The rains stopped and the weather became hot. Still, there was a lot of water and life in the pond. There was nothing to worry about. In winter, the frog friends found cozy little places at the edge of the pond. Cozy places means comfortable and warm places. They spent most of their time sleeping and resting. Soon it was summer. Now the days became very, very hot. With the hot sun blazing in the sky, the pond began to dry. Blazing means very hot. Without water, the lilies dried up. There were very few insects to be found. The frog friends were worried. Do you think the whole pond will dry up? Looks like it, said the other. What shall we do then? How shall we live? We must search a place where there is plenty of water and food for us. You are right. It is hard work, travelling in this hot sun. But there is no other way. Come, let us start. The sooner the better. If we travel together, the search will be easier. So the frogs left the drying pond and began to look for a watery place. They hopped and hopped and became very tired. Just then, one of them saw a well in the distance. They rushed to the well. The well was built in stone and had a high circular wall. The frogs hopped onto the wall and peeped inside. The well was quite deep, but there was a lot of water still left at the bottom of the well. The friends began to jump for joy. We are so fortunate. Thank God we found this well. Fortunate means lucky. Our problems are solved. Our search has ended. We have found a new home. Let's jump in together. One, two, wait. Friend, this well is so deep. And there's water left only at the bottom. But we can surely dive in. However deep the well may be, diving is our speciality. Why do you hesitate? Hesitate means... To pause before doing something. It has occurred to me that this well is also drying up. 
if it dries up completely, we will have to leave this well too. I agree, but why do you hesitate now? It's because I see a problem. We can easily dive into the well. But what if the well dries up? Can we jump so high that we reach the top of this wall? Shall we be able to leave the well like we left the pond? You are right, friend, said the other frog. I had not thought of this. It's good that you can foresee this problem. Foresee means think about the future situation. Let's not leap inside. Leap means to jump. Let's continue with our search. And so, the two little frogs hopped on to look for a safe shelter. How well it is said. Look before you leap. We will now revise the difficult words and their meanings. Darted means moved quickly and suddenly. Lily pad means one of the floating leaves of a water lily. Diving headlong means diving head first. Cozy means warm and comfortable. Blazing means extremely hot. Speciality means something one is good at. Fortunate means lucky. So students, I hope you enjoyed today's class and understood the topic. Keep learning and keep growing. Thank you.